Hey, that Charles Bukowski clip I sent you. Yeah. If you want. What? How about we direct the listeners? Dude, I was watching. I was watching like, match, on my phone or what? Match game, yeah. Old episodes of Match Game, and Nipsey Russell was on. Oh, it. really? Yeah. Did he say any rhymes? Um, we could barely hear it. I just, I was like, oh yeah, it's Nipsey Russell, because it was with Liz. That's I was Kristen like, Wick She thing. was like, what? That was a real thing. I was like, I know. <laughs> that was one of the like few things Paul taught me. <laughs> Nipsey Russell. About Nipsey oh, Russell. because of Nipsey Hustle? Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't even know. Words. I didn't know who Nipsey yeah. Hustle was. I just went, that's a great fucking name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's and like, then, uh, and then we got it, uh, like that on RuPaul Drag's Race every season they, they do the Snatch Game. <laughs> nice. It's the, it's the same thing <laughs> as the Match Game. That was early Tinder, dude. <laughs> dude, that, dude, I'm telling you, that show has to have writers, like, some of the wordplay mm. and puns that they pull off on that show are so god-awful, it is <laughs> fucking profound. Like mm. The contestants, or... Uh, no, it's like the it's it's the judges and shit. It's mostly like something he'll say, like after describing, um, like what their challenge is and that kind of thing. Usually, like in the middle when they're walking around while they're like setting up, they'll ask what they're going on and he'll have something. And then whenever they do the the walk, he always have a few and the guests do too i'm pretty sure there's just writers that give it to them but um <laughs> jackie the joke never, man yeah jackie i think the joke man i wonder how he's doing yeah i think after Probably they shoot well. it i think after they shoot it they have writers write for it and they record it because they never show them saying mm. it it's always like the camera is oh, just like on just the people walking up. yeah but one of them the best one i've heard so far it was like black wedding was the theme for like the outfits or whatever, and they came out for one. <laughs> and she goes, she goes, ooh, it's a nice gay for a black wedding. <laughs> and like that shit. I oh god, dude, I I really recommend watching it. It's fucking hilarious. Like it's a I've been funny watching ass Andy show. Cohen clips. RuPaul going, like, is a master of longer. wordplay. Really? A master of wordplay. Either that or they have writers. Probably both. Yeah. Or he's just so sassy, dude. It's just in his blood. It's that fucking really He also weird. saves loads of money just getting to use his own music. How lucky mm-hmm. did... How lucky and is he? he used the show to plug his music. Dude, I went to a fucking drag show. That was so boring. It's really just dudes dressed up like women lip-syncing songs. Yeah. And it's then... really... Dude, fat drag queens are so funny. Yeah, but compared yeah. to, like, burlesque shows, Paul they was have, just like... waiting for his dad to give him a ride. <laughs> <laughs> Paul was like, Dad, you know you're not gonna win. <laughs> you never did Hamburger Mary's. Were you no. around when that was going on? I think so, but I don't think I knew that... At least at that time, the people that were doing it weren't the homies. Yeah, you were guaranteed to fucking lose if you weren't really? dressed in drag. I think it was on Thursdays, uh, okay. right? Then that was probably why. Yeah. Because I think a lot of people, it's one of the reasons Evans didn't have a good turnout. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, because it was for money. Yeah. For moolah. But, I mean, you were going to lose if you I'm just scared like of gay lady. people. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, I'm just going to be here with the atheists. You know? Yeah, I don't like carbs, so the hamburger. <laughs> I got into an argument on an atheist fucking site because I tried to post that on there, and then they removed it. <laughs> They're going to say, because I'm a Christian. <laughs> I posted that. Yeah. <laughs> I posted that. I don't know why they're picking on me when I post things on their page about accepting Jesus into your life. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, people got mad at me. I mean, if you I think about why. it, well, accepting yeah. Jesus is the most open-minded thing you can yeah. do. Yeah, well, well, how about keeping an open mind, people? Yeah. I posted a fucking comment. I posted the commentary about Passion of Christ, and they removed it. And then so I was like, okay, motherfucker. So I just started trolling guys on there because they're so dumb. Atheists are so fucking stupid. That I would just, I would post, I go, how did Muhammad Ali use the Koran to get out of fighting uh, in Vietnam? <laughs> how did he do? Because you're not allowed to fucking murder people. Mm. It, like, expressly forbids you're only allowed to kill in self-defense. Yeah. And so anytime they would post something about Muslim, Islam, 
mm. is a religion of violence, I would post that question, yeah. and then they'd all go fucking crazy. That was a valid reason for Muhammad Ali to... Yeah, he was I mean, he was a pretty solid, like, figure to stay in America for hope. He was like, a minister why in could uh, the Nation of Islam. Do that? They could. Well, I mean, could I mean, a... Christians have... Well, wouldn't they just send you to jail? Probably more people than if you're a mis- religion, if you're a minister in a religion, you're not you're exempt from the draft. Yeah, but not a. Mm. I'm just saying, like a member. What if you're in the band ministry? No, but he's a minister. Muhammad Ali was. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah. The Nation of Islam, or? Yeah. No, I just. I'm sure they fast track that shit. I thought I just thought he wanted. To be <laughs> name. Although Cassius Clay is also a yeah, really cool both. fucking name. Going from cool to cool. Cool. To yeah, cool he was never not cool. <laughs> even when like. I feel like Cassius. <laughs> it's something a white person cut. Yeah, make. even when he had like the gorilla. That's the good thing about he was punching the gorilla. <laughs> the name spectrum. Yeah, you, they know? Got a you have a little mixed kid. You have a mixed kid, and yeah, the name spectrum just fucking wide open. Yeah, it's like being pan, but for your name. Name <laughs> means your name gets kicked out of Cracker Barrel a lot. <laughs> <laughs> we know what name that is. <laughs> Peter Pan section. I haven't had a Cracker Barrel in a really, really long time. Is that a real yeah. thing? What? Yeah. Cracker Barrel? Yeah, you never been to a Cracker Barrel? I'm scared of the, white people. <laughs> it's like, I had it for the first time like a year or two ago. I'm scared of white Just people. Just go for the chicken and dumps, dude. I'm sure yeah. they have yeah. like that's what, that's what I biscuits and gravy. Good. Yeah, I like biscuits and gravy. They do have good ass gravy there too. Yeah. The gravy is fantastic. Oh, they also have a gift store yeah which is like the size of oh the you know what i have been to a cracker barrel it's hilarious yeah because it's all just like fucking old toys from like when paul was a kid <laughs> yeah. and my food just was like hey you guys like, crackle barrel crackers yeah. you guys wanna <laughs> what are you running on on the cbpt cracker barrel <laughs> people time oh uh, it's <laughs> like it's like redneck rainforest cafe <laughs> I thought that's right, Rainforest Dude, Cafe. Would, my family, I used to, I've eaten a lot at Cracker Barrel. We would stop there um, every time we would go, like, uh, on the way to Kentucky to visit my family. We would stop there. We'd usually stop at one of the Bass Pro shops on the way mm. all the time. That's a, a lot more like, that's just more like a rainforest for... Yeah, we should, we should do a fishing show, dude. I'd be. Have you ever um? Like fishing heard of with John Lurie. N-O- fishing Have with you ever John. heard of NODL? No. Not N-O-D-L. many people watch this, so I'm just gonna say it. it's for uh, it's a YouTube channel. It's called Niggas on the Lake. It's old. Now I'm really after you've seen one video, you've seen them all. But <laughs> yeah. it's just these two black dudes smoking <laughs> blunts and, and fishing. Uh, <laughs> it's really funny. For catfish, and it's like, uh, and the one episode, the first episode, they were st- st- fishing for Sturgis, and it was like, look at this big dino- dinosaur ass fish, <laughs> and like, yeah. yeah, and then and then we watched another one, and yeah, we were we got like halfway through that one, and it's like, yeah, you've seen you've seen one, you've seen them all. It's pretty funny though. <laughs> I think that's the best angle you're gonna be able to go. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. There's probably successful. One thing I wish I knew about cars just so I can make a YouTube channel on how to do stuff with your car. God, like, that's the so most boring, boring, boring fucking shows. Our fucking yeah. car shows. Well, I mean, people don't watch them for fun. Yeah, like I, yeah. I would just be like, know, here's man. how you change this. And I yeah. told you that one guy where they were they were like they I mean, watching like a car show. People, yeah. And these guys were like <laughs> trying to do like bits. And they were just so bad, but the guy bolts. watching it was going like, ha, 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 ha. called bolts. Ha, ha, ha. They're just always so long, though. It'll be like a simple thing, and it's like 12 minutes, and you're like, I'm in the middle of the highway. Like, tell I me always, right now how to get my car to start. I always, like, choose the least legit looking one. I just yeah. like, like, just hearing heavy breathing. Yeah, I want to see a pair of All hands. All right, I'm going to show yeah. you how to bleed your brain fluid on the nose. <laughs> the only thing I remember out. from it, I don't remember First anything. First, you got to remove your tire. I don't remember yeah. anything about any car shit. I just remember stuff like, Bill drank my last monster. No, I didn't. What? And then he turns to the camera, he's like, he drank it. I think you watch the onions like car videos. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, that's <laughs> weird, dude. I've never seen one where they tried to do bits. Oh, God. It, it's really bad. 
I don't like when they're like too professional though too. When exactly. Like Me either, boy that's ass, why like they're in front of a wall with some their, like, of them gray will shirt. have like an animation or like a little graphic, yeah. and I'm just like, all right. They you give guys an introduction, then it's like doo -doo -doo -doo, has a transition and like little. And it's chimes. all monotone. Yeah. First this is you how do. you exactly. Yeah. I want some emotion. I imagine those are the video. I wonder if they just like play those videos, like when they have substitute teachers at DeVry, they just play those fucking shows <laughs> on a TV. And they're like, I'm gonna go sit in the back and read. <laughs> that is really funny though. <laughs> and like schools for getting like to be uh, in the fucking tech. <laughs> that would be really funny if they were just like, all right, we're just watching YouTube today. Yeah. You think it's like in real school where they, where they always play Cars too for them? <laughs> they're like, sorry, <laughs> your regular teacher isn't in. <laughs> You're going to watch the, the movie that made you guys want to come here. Oh, Why are the cable guys too? Yeah. <laughs> made her for <revenge>. yeah. <laughs> Instead of fucking Mythbusters, they show them cars. Cars too. <laughs> they play Fast and the Furious. <laughs> Rise of Darth Vader. 